All right. Uh, my friend's dad said he will turn on the downstairs unit. And I was right. Um, my friend's dad has informed me that the smaller unit does the first floor and the larger unit does the second and third floors. And this one's a lot quieter. In fact, it's exactly like the one at my house. A little two-ton 13-seer carrier. This is the exact air conditioner that I have at my house. Or one of the exact air conditioners. It has the exact same sound. Nice little unit. Disconnect box. So yeah, the basement is probably... Uh, I don't know, I'd say the first floor of this house is like 1,200 square feet or so, and perfect, that one just turned on. I don't know if that came on on its own or if my friend's dad just took the thermostat. The larger unit is definitely noisier. And this one's tilting slightly towards the house. Classic air conditioner symphony here. I don't think I'll be able to get my friend's dad to turn on the heat pump. He never uses the thing. Like I said, he only turns this one on to, um, just to exercise, basically. But maybe this winter I might be able to talk him into turning it on, try to get a defrost cycle out of it. Around here it gets so damn cold, all you have to do is set the thermostat at 68. And within an hour, it'll be going into defrost. So this one is a two ton or 24,000 BTU. This one is a 3.5 ton or 42,000 BTU. And then the heat pump is a um Um, 1.5 nominal ton or 18,000 BTU. So it's a, a one and a half ton, a three and a half ton, and a two ton. So that is 5.5 nominal tons. That is actually just about right for what is required to cool a house of this size. And then all the little 500 square feet fro square foot frog needs is a 1.5 ton. That actually might be a little oversized for that room, but um, 1.5 is the smallest air, one and a half is the smallest size air conditioner and heat pump they make these days. And now I'm going to see about going downstairs and doing a video of the indoor unit, the furnace. I don't feel like um, going, I mean they're both carrier gas furnaces, they're aside from the, the one and a half ton size difference. I don't think there's much difference between the two. They're both just builder grade 90% efficiency carrier gas furnaces. And um, actually I don't know if it's a 3.5 or a 4 ton furnace. It might actually be a 4 ton furnace but that is up in a very very cramped 
The furnace for this unit is in a very, very cramped, unfinished attic sport storage space on the third floor. This one is down in the basement, so I'll go film this one. And then the air handler. The air handler is like inacc inaccessible by without um without tools. Like the air handler for the heat pump is like up in the wall somewhere. All all you can see is the little um metal grate for changing the air filter. The air handler for this heat pump is like hidden in the um wall somewhere and there's like some access panel that I don't know where it is. But yeah the 3.5 ton is definitely noticeably noisier. And again, this is a Toll Brothers house. It's a very nice house. Um, it's got public natural gas heat provided by Pico. Um, the stove's gas, the water heater's gas, the dryer's gas. Um, it has a double wall oven that's electric. Um, it's a really nice house three bedrooms, three very large bedrooms. You can hear them hammering away on those new houses down the street. And unlike in my neighborhood, dual zone is standard on every single home in this neighborhood. Um, and then the, um, you'll only get the third floor unit, the, uh, the third unit if you order the frog. So two units are standard on all these houses because they're so damn big. And then if you opt to get the finished room above the garage, you get the heat pump included in that, in that price. And like I said, the reason that there's a heat pump for the frog is because even though the, the garage is attached to the house, um, Toll Brothers found it to be cheaper to just put in electric heat than to run, a, to run gas lines for a furnace. And I tend to agree. Plus it might be a little bit safer to not have all those extra gas lines. And especially if it's never even used. Like, for example, my neighbor has a house with a third floor finished loft. He has two, a straight cool unit and a gas furnace for the first and second floors in the finished basement. And then there's like a little 1.5 nominal ton straight cool unit and a gas furnace for the third floor loft. And it gets so hot up there that even in the dead of winter, he says he has never used the gas furnace, so I think the heat pump's a better choice. So I'm going to go see about the furnace. Um, until then, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Out. And here we go again. Um, the fan blades are spinning, appear to be spinning different directions. That one is spinning the right way on the camera, and that one, the camera's making it spin the wrong way. It's the frame rate. All right, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Out. Here is the gas furnace for the first floor. There's the gas lines right there. Um, March of 2008. So yeah, this house was built in 08. All three of the condensing units are, for t are from 2008. It is an upflow furnace. And by now, some of you have probably noticed the removable hardtop sitting in the corner over there. That is from a 1984 Mercedes 280 SL Roadster. And that one, I believe, is all... I forget what that's from. It's from... I think it's from an even older Mercedes 280 SL Roadster, like an early 70s one. But that one's definitely from the 84, I can tell by the style.
But yeah, um, here's all the duct work. Um, the basement's unfinished, but um, it could be finished if my friend's dad chooses to do that. And if he wanted AC in the basement, um, they just cut holes in the duct work here. And since there's not much of a heat load down here, I don't think cutting a couple holes in the vents for duct work for for the air to flow out would have much of an effect on the two ton unit for the first floor. And if it did, I think probably a 2.5 or 3 nominal ton would make up for that, for the lost capacity there. But the basement doesn't have, in fact, there's no vents, there's no ventilate, like, there's no vents down here at all, so there's like no air flowing into the basement. It's like in the 80s outside, and it feels very, very comfortable down here. So I think just a couple vents down here would do just fine. Lots of cool stuff down here. So yeah, that is the indoor unit. One of the three indoor units. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, out.